Please welcome to the stage, Mr. Adam Lewis Walker. Thanks a lot, guys. Um, much like this book didn't write itself, had some talented gentlemen do that, and all your books as well didn't write themselves. Your life story is being written every day. Whether you like it or not, a page is turning. You decide whether that's a bestseller to match up with your new title, or if it puts you to sleep in two pages, like a lot of the books I read. What I want to talk to you about today is my experiences of making the most out of your opportunity. Approximately three years ago, almost to the day, I was sitting in a coffee shop in England. Obviously, it was slightly rainy. This is our little, what we call it, our Sunday session with my family. It's Dylan, Harrison, and my wife. And I agree, yes, I need a bigger coffee cup. That's not quite big enough for me. Not a full bucket. Um, and that's only chocolate milk, so we haven't got him on caffeine yet. So on this Sunday session, it's our little, you know, weekly thing. We have to sit down, get away from the craziness, is the plan anyway, and have a little heart to heart. About two weeks out before this event, I'd recently become a best-selling author, but there was a big problem. I didn't believe, I didn't feel like a best-selling author. And I was struggling with that decision. I was uncertain whether to come to this event. Come so far, but I was doubting myself. And ultimately, in that, on that day, two weeks out, I made the call and I decided I'm not going to go. Now, my wife was pretty shocked at this point because I think she thought I was bluffing, you know, going to Hollywood, California. Um, and when you do that thing, I'm sure some of you will recognize it when you say, oh, I'm not sure. I want to have your opinion. What do you think? And then you go and do the other thing anyway. So I was kind of in that situation, but I was genuine. So I decided I wasn't going and I left it at that. About two weeks later, well, one week later, otherwise we'd be at the event, one week later, I was happy with my decision, but then my wife, the same Sunday little session we had, just out of the blue, she turned to me and said, it doesn't feel right, you should go. You've come this far, you've done all that work, go and get the result. Now at that time, that's what I needed to hear. I didn't believe in my potential as a best-selling author at that time, but luckily, that's what a good support network does for you. She propped it up to a point that I was basically sitting where you're sitting about three years to the, ago to the day, beginning to believe as a bestseller. Now, quick show of hands in the room. Who's seen this diagram or something very similar to it? Okay, I heard his name mentioned a minute ago. This is the man, Tony Robbins. And again, this caught my attention. Again, we've got quite a short time today, so I'm talking about belief, but obviously, it's a, it's a cycle, a success cycle. But belief for me at this point, that time in rainy England three years ago, I'd had the result. This is a strange thing. This is why everyone's different. It's an individual thing, but I'd actually had the result. I was a bestseller. Unfortunately, I didn't recognize that. It's all about your own perspective. It's where you can get unhappy millionaires and broke people who are very happy. It's all about your perspective, what you believe you have and what you don't. So I had the result. I didn't have the belief, didn't believe in my potential, my action when I wasn't, wasn't coming. Luckily, in a cycle, obviously, you need to try and find ways to break it. At that time, my support network kicked in. Christina gave me that little extra bit of belief I was lacking. The action was I came here, sit in this room, beginning to believe. Now, when I got here, one of, the, one of the key things that surprised me, instantly I started to believe more once I got here, firstly, and I'm sure that's happened to some of you. You can't just give someone a title and expect them to you know, walk the walk straight away. But instantly, as soon as I got here, my eyes were opened to some of the people in the room just inspiring what they'd already done with their book. And it really made me realize the, the book is just a tool on your journey. And like any tool, if you don't use it properly, it's absolutely worthless. People have done outstanding things with their books, and they'd only, some of them had only just launched, but they'd leveraged it. They'd used it to open doors and then run through them doors. And I actually felt a little bit, in some ways, ashamed. Blimey, I hadn't, I hadn't used this great tool. 
So that started me thinking. Now, let me explain this before you judge me. Who here can remember the DNA agency saying, make sure you smile in your photo. <laughs> make sure you get a professional to do your photo. Again, if this is an example of imperfect action, the reality was this was taken probably about 12 o'clock at night on the deadline day. I had <laughs> two young boys, a newborn, probably about two hours sleep if I was lucky. And I dragged my wife downstairs, stood myself against the wall, and she took a photo. So that, is the fo <laughs> that is the face of a man <laughs> who wants this over. However, I've learned from that. Imperfect action, that's not going to hold me back. And this is just a tool, so I'm going to get the most out of it. And that's much better. And you'll see, as soon as I, you know when you do something, you think, uh, this doesn't feel right. And this thing, obviously, it follows you. So <laughs> hopefully I've improved. So moving forwards, obviously, listen to these guys. Number one, they know what they're talking about. And, and smile. OK. Again, I, would never, I wouldn't do that face to anyone apart from my wife at 12 in the morning when I'm completely tired and I just wanted to take the photo and she's not doing it right. But anyway. So in this room, beginning to believe, I had the idea when I mixed with all these great people, and there's such a diverse mix all over the world, different ages, different professions. I was surprised at all the similarities I found. Usually when I was talking to people at the bar later after the event, but the connections that were made here, along with people in my book, so diverse, but so many things we can all learn from each other. That was the origin of the idea to bring this together, and I decided to launch a podcast. Because I, what I didn't say is when I was struggling with the decision to come across here, I was still teaching part-time in a college. I was a part-time entrepreneur, part-time working as a teacher. So I had all my clients on the side helping them succeed. At this point, after this event, I went back, I handed in my notice, I decided to fully commit, because I started to believe. So when I launched this, in the first five days, and I used my bestseller title, title even, to leverage to get people onto interview. In the first five days, I hit number one in iTunes for business, health, and education. This guy launched at the same time. I didn't realize that when I was doing mine. But luckily, because I was in England, I used to get ahead of him in the mornings while everyone else in America was sleeping, I think. <laughs> I took the photo. These guys had taught me well, and I leveraged it. I leveraged this to then start smiling, get a better, get a better shot done for my podcast. 200 episodes in, and two and a half years, approximately, later. Next time I come back to Hollywood, a year later, now I'm getting interviewed, believing more and more. I'm doing interviews on the red carpet. I'm leveraging every piece of publicity that I get Every stepping stone, I'm beginning to believe. And then if you look at the actual episode number there, as these episodes get bigger and got more and more credibility to move forwards, you can get bigger names. I'm Robert Green, the author of The 48 Laws of Power, one of my favorite episodes. But again, had to get to that point, 128, 24 episodes in. And this was earlier this year. This was, my, this was something that's been on my, sort of my list for a long time. And the thing that's probably holding most of you back, you're all definitely capable, is probably belief and going out after it. So I did this earlier this year, and then I think that's the reason I'm here today as well. Leveraging that to get here on this stage, and that's basically where I wanted to be three years ago when I saw these kind of talks. So come back to this diagram. When you put in bestseller belief, which is what you really knew, need, okay? And when you appreciate that your potential is absolutely unlimited, okay, if you realized and believed with absolute certainty that you would get the result, you would start taking action and move forwards. And this can work for your health, your wealth, your relationships. Okay, an example of me moving across here to the States. Me and my wife. We 100% believed with absolute certainty that we would move to the States. We had no doubt in our potential. It's very hard. You'd be happy to know it's a great country. But we just kept moving forward with action because we knew it was going to happen. So this was one year ago, September 1st. We had to get here before he started school. That was our plan. London Heathrow. Next day, up in northern Michigan on the Great Lakes. We made it. So in this talk today, it's all about belief, but I want you to 
not just make your opportunities, but make the most of them. Question yourself, is there something else you could do? And whatever your level of belief at the moment, I hope it's slightly expanded today, even one or two percent. And also, make sure your belief is bigger than your bestseller title, that you make the most out of your bestseller title. Okay? From this point forwards, you're the one who's writing your life story. No one has to edit you. You can write whatever you want. Okay, you have unlimited possibility. Use this event and the momentum here to start making some more changes. Progress is exciting. Okay, so get excited about your opportunity and make it happen. Thank you for listening.